The lure of Japan as a professional base has been irresistible for some of the world's leading players in recent years. One of those to have made the move is South African international centre Jacques Fourry. Before I came over, you know, I, I knew nothing about Japan, I knew nothing about the rugby. I just, you know, a couple of mates played here, yeah, they enjoyed it a lot. So um, me and my wife came open-minded and um, I think that, that was uh, the biggest thing for us that helped us settle in quickly is coming in open-minded and coming to enjoy ourselves. That was the most, uh, coming to, to relish, um, you know, new, new, um, new foods, new, like you say, like the, the Japanese people, their religion and stuff. So yeah, it was, for me, that was uh, quite nice to do that. After one season with the Panasonic Wild Knights north of Tokyo, Furry headed south to play for the Kobe Steelers and has relished the free-flowing style of rugby favoured throughout the league. Coming over here, it was uh, quite refreshing, you know. Um, I didn't know anything about Japanese rugby, but when I came over, you know, the first couple of games, you um, quickly realised that, um, you know, it's, there's not going to be a lot of kicking, so it's only attacking rugby. And that was, that was so nice about it, you know, it's, it's attacking rugby, it's, it's enjoyable, you know, scoring a lot of tries. And for me, to, you know, coming from a tough couple of seasons back home, Super Rugby, after World Cup, that was quite refreshing coming over here and, um, and doing something different, you know, and, and it's, it's a quite a different style of rugby, brand of rugby, but exciting, exciting um, brand of rugby, and that's why I enjoy it so much. Furry made the first of his 72 international appearances in the 2003 Rugby World Cup in Perth, Australia. Four years later, in Paris, he achieved his childhood dream. That whole tournament, you know, coming to the end of it was, um, I mean, was so exciting, you know. Um, England knocking out, um, Australia, France knocking out, um, New Zealand, so, you know, at that stage, you know, it was it was all up to us. You know, that was it was for us to lose the World Cup, and I think we we decided as a team that day, you know, that um, we we want to go all the way. England, you know, they they always they were surprising us right through the, the competition. You know, so we knew it was going to be tough. Um, I think we were just chipping away that whole game, you know, and deep down inside of us, so me, myself, you know, it never felt like we we're going to lose that game. You know, we had that confidence in ourselves that. This, this is ours to, to take, and uh, I think on the day we, you know, we knew that we, we had it. Now 31, Fouri has a habit of scoring at crucial moments, perhaps the most timely of his 32 international tries, coming in South Africa's second test against the Lions in 2009. Those tries you never forget, you know, it almost feels like yesterday, you know. Um, I think with this was off a line out, um, we took the ball in, I went in for, for a scissors, went in and someone, I could remember it, someone stuck his finger in my eye, so I couldn't see out of the left of my eye, it was quite blurry. But then we took the ball wide and then, um, you know, the ball came, came wide again and I was um, second last. And um, all I could, not, I mean, I could see three guys in front of me, you know, and all I could say is just catch the ball, you know, I don't want to drop the ball, you know, so caught the ball and then um, just went for the corner, you know, and everything, you know, just went for it and it's, uh, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. Um, luckily, everything worked out for me that day, so, um, yeah, like I say, you never forget that. And um, it was, it's a, for me, it was one of my, one of my best tries. By moving to Japan, he risked jeopardising his international career. I w would always want to play for the Springboks, you know. But at that moment, you know, I've played, I played 69 tests, you know, I wanted to do something new, you know, break away a bit. And um, I never decided that it was going to be the end of my Springbok career. I always wanted to go back and, and contend for the 2015 World Cup. And it's still, it's still a dream of mine to go and do that. And um, luckily last year, you know, with Heineken Meyer, and decided to, to, to give me a chance again at the end of, end of year tour, and I was very grateful for that, and it was amazing to go back and do that. So, um, yeah, but it's still a dream of mine to go to the 2015 World Cup, and, uh, and if, if, it, if it can happen, it would be great. So at this moment, you know, I'm doing everything over here, you know, being physically fit, mentally getting myself ready, and, and then giving myself a good chance next year to compete for, for a position in, in the Springbok team.